Okay, so the first film of the Dark Universe, they decided to go with Tom Cruise in The Mummy. Other films they had slated was Johnny Depp in The Invisible Man, Javier Bardem in Frankenstein, potentially Angelina Jolie in Bride of Frankenstein. I didn't read out who they had for Creature of the Black Lagoon, or for a werewolf film, or a Family of the Opera film. I mean, they've got a decent selection of, of characters they could pull from for their dark universe. But they go with Tom Cruise in The Mummy. Oh, they also could have had, uh, well, they could have started off with Russell Crowe, Jekyll and Hyde. Why did you pick The Mummy as your, your first film? They begin around with Dark Universe, so... They almost go like, we're connected, we're, co we're connected, it's just totally connected, you're gonna love this. And... The plot is... Almost identical to the 99 The Mummy film franchise. You've got Tom Cruise's character, who of course is the guy out there who's ransacking artifacts. There's also some tunnel work in England. They find a bunch of bodies. Okay. They inadvertently, Tom Cruise inadvertently, releases a mummy. The woman who plays mummy does a pretty good job. The effects on her actually are decent. I like the, the idea that they, instead of doing, you know, she has the, the, the mummy wrap and they do the, the stencil work on her face. Just a pretty good job. Her effects are okay. The the weird battling an army of the undead. The underwater parts? You know what? That's interesting. I think doing an underwater sequence of battling the undead, you don't see it very often. Even though they did it in Pirates of the Caribbean 5. I just saw recently. But those sort of scenes actually work fairly well. And the Russell Crowe moments where he's the Jekyll and Hyde character. It's a successful character. It's just... They try to put a little bit too much of him in it. This is an hour and 50 minute film that really feels like it should have been like an hour and 40. They could have introduced the, the Jekyll and Hyde character. Just reduce it. But, no. He's, he's in the beginning of the film. He's one of your primary narrators. He's your exposition dump about two-thirds into the film. He has, a, he has a battle with Tom Cruise. He appears in the end of the film. He's... Had they removed the battle with Tom Cruise portion and just called him Dr. Jekyll and not had done like, oh, by the way, he's also Hyde. You could have just done the Dr. Jekyll bit and not had him go like partial Hyde. Or if they really wanted to, you start off your film franchise with Jekyll and Hyde. If he is your unifying force, start with him. Tom Cruise feels really out of place. The two female leads, they're pretty good. But the constant reference to Tom Cruise is like, well, he's this young man, a young man, a young man, a young man. Virile. He's Tom Cruise. I get that when you're doing a shared universe, if you're having names like Johnny Depp, Javier Bardem, uh, Russell Crowe, Angelina Jolie, Tom Cruise fits in well with those list of names. He just felt like an odd pick for this film and it kind of drags the film down a lot. Because it feels like it's Tom Cruise being Tom Cruise in almost every Tom Cruise film. Except for Tropic Thunder. And Rock of Ages. And it's... He's found this weird niche character which works well in spy thrillers, not in supernatural th action thrillers that you're trying to use to create a whole unifying force with all of the universal monsters. If I use Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise could work Phantom of the Opera. If you were to update Phantom of the Opera a little bit, make it American-based, Tom Cruise makes that work. Or he kind of do a Wolfman. 
he would also work too on the Creature of the Black Lagoon. He just feels really out of place in this film. His, his the buddy that he has for it works well. It's just Tom feels out of place. And when he's one of your primary driving forces of the film, he the film's not bad. I think they just picked a a bad a bad lead, which makes a bad anchor for an now potentially defunct shared universe. 